Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group C. A crucial round this could be in, in Group C. Starting us off, we will see MEJP10 going up against Lozen J, the champions team taking on Karmatorus Man, and then a big game at the bottom between Stranger Kid and Morslet. Well, let's look at our first matchup, shall we? I feel like this is a big game because if Lozen J wins, and Mouse loses, that means Morslet will be out of the tournament. Right, in the red corner for MEJE10, we've got the Blitz type who sent Rosaurus. Oh, good, we're in the Colosseum, no terrain advantages to worry about. But we do have some Blitz and Quick Strike, so yeah. Backing up the uh, you sent Rosaurus, we've got the Blitz type Delta the Dromius. So you sent Rosaurus, we'll be starting with Rock. Will Loz and Jay be able to dodge the Blitz effect? Or will he get blitzed? In the blue corner for Lozenge, we got Mega Raptor. Lozenge got smoked by Carnotaurus Man in round three. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> yep, Lozenge got smoked by Carnotaurus Man in round three. Looking to bounce back. A win here would really. Well, would really tighten their grip on the top four, put them in a strong position, and they'll heap all sorts of pressure on Morsler in the third match. And yes, we got Super Baryonyx as well with the Awaken Mode on three. But first things first, we gotta get the Blitz type effects done. So you sent the source, we going for the crit. Can Loz and Jay dodge it? Yes, they can. Oh, they called the bluff. This Usentrosaurus also has quick strike. Oh, bloody hell. That was loads of damage. Well, they're going to try it again. Oh, is it tight? Not happening for MEJ E10. Another tight. Oh, there's another crit from the Vega Raptor. Loss and J start in strong. Here comes the Mayfly! Don't the Dromius will get hit as well. The Blitz and Quick Strike effects not working for any in this match. Boosh! Right, well, Delta Dromius will be going for Scissors. Ooh, gets it this time though, gets the Ninja attack off. Delta Dromius doing what you sent Rosaurus could not. Right, time for the Mega Raptor to swap out. Oh, that's right, this is the easy group where they all want to swap when HP's below half, except for Carnotaurus Man. Mega Raptor gets the swap, how crucial could that be? That could be crucial in getting the bonus point win should Loz and Jay win this match. The Baryonyx comes in, Super Barry that is, with the Awaken mode as well if it needs it. But at this rate, I don't think Loz and Jay's going to need it. Well, in it comes. Ooh, Doubt the Dromy is getting another hit. It's a Tail Smash. MEJE10 not out of this yet. I should point out, a win for Emmy JT10 would pretty much guarantee their place in the last 32, but so far, they're not winning this one. Ooh, Emmy JT10 getting a crit. I'm going to cough. <coughs> terrible, terrible I am. Oh, almost killed it. Time to the wait for my... Oh, almost messed up then. <laughs> That was close. Oh, it's a type! That's all she wrote for Baryonyx. A chance missed there. But can the Mega Raptor finish the job? Ooh! Ooh, it's a Net Crusher! Any GP10 all of a sudden. Coming back into this contest. Look at this. Well, they're both guaranteed at least a losing bonus point, but they. 
both of them want the win. Oh, and it's Lozenger getting the win. Oh, hang on a minute. We got light recovery. And he might not be getting a losing bonus point. Okay, they are getting a losing bonus point. <laughs> oh, the big result for Lozenger. Massive result. Getting big three points there against MEJP10. And that definitely makes the next two matches interesting. So let's get on with our second match, shall we? Well, this will be interesting. Can Kana Taurus Man back up the winning round three with another one? Okie dokie, in the red corner. For the champions team, we have got the Alpha Chasmosaurus with terrain advantage. Actually, this is a terrible field for Kana Taurus Man. Which means that this Chasmosaurus is actually going to open with a crit. Okay, they, okay, this backing up the Chasmosaurus. We do have the Rugops, which has terrain disadvantage. So, hit and miss for the Champions team. But, a win for the Champions team will all but, well, will 100% guarantee their place in the last 32. But, honestly, they're, they're pretty much 90% for it. Right, that's for Carnotaurus Man in the blue corner. We got, well, Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus Man still with work to do, but God. Got the mark in round three with a massive win over Lozenger. Gonna be tough for them though, they'll have terrain disadvantage to deal with. Backing up the Carnotaur, we got the Sukamimus. Sukamimus is probably gonna have to pull his weight in this match. Ooh, it's gonna be tough with the terrain disadvantage a Carnotaurus has, it's gonna be tough. But one saving grace is that the Hurricane Beat will get triggered, and we all know how much damage that can do. Right, first things first, because the Chasmosaurus has terrain advantage over the Carnotaurus, which has terrain dis disadvantage. The Chasmosaurus will open with a crit. Oh, hello, we got a Cyclone support effect. The Rugops getting in there. Ooh, the Carnotaurus getting the next hit, though. A Tutu Tutu dive. Boosh. Boosh. Oh, wow. Impressive. Ooh, we got a support effect from the Suko. It's a shockwave. Shockwave coming in there. That's good for Carnotaurus Man. And in fact, Carnotaurus Man will be going for a crit. Will he get it? Oh, he will get it. That's going to be death for the Chasmosaurus. Despite the terrain disadvantage, the Carnotaurus is going to kill Chasmosaurus. Ooh, that could be big for Carnotaurus Man there. Getting rid of the Chasmosaurus is key. And now it's all on Rugops. Ooh, there's a tie. Ooh, there's a crit from the Rugops. It's a ninja attack. That's going to do some serious damage. It Probably you'll kill the Carnotaurus, and if it doesn't, it'll leave her on a sliver of health. Why is Rugop so big in this game? It's like a massive compared to the Carnotaurus. Oh, look at that! It's a tiny sliver of health. But the Carnotaurus will get the opportunity to swap. Ooh, and gets the swap. The Sukamimus will come in, and because the Rugop has terrain disadvantage, the Sukamimus will get a hit, which will be a Water Sword. Things looking good for Carnotaurus Man in this match. And other champions teams set for their first defeat of the tournament. Oh, hello. Can't believe Hang on a minute. We got a cyclone effect. That definitely puts Carnotaurus Man in the driving seat. Ooh, but the Rugops does get the next hit. Champions team not done yet. Now they're done. And that is another bonus point win for Carnotaurus Man. Wow, where does this come from? You know, first two matches, they got absolutely smoked. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just turned up to the party. And that's another bonus point win, which puts them on eight points. And in fact, if things go their way next round, they could actually top this group. Crazy, isn't it? It's not over till it's over. Right. Now then, on to a massive match at the bottom of this group.
Oh, interesting. We're in the volcano field, which makes sense because this is going to be a fiery matchup. In the red corner. For Stranger Kid, we got Parasaurolophus. Okay, so no terrain advantages or disadvantages to worry about here. Both of our dudes want to swap when HP's below half. I can chuck my notes away. Backing up the Parasaurolophus, we got Ampelosaurus. Well, yeah, Ampelosaurus. Uh, we've seen glimpses of what it can do. Uh, mainly against Carnotaurus, man. <laughs> that was when he was on a bad run. Right then, in the blue corner for Morsela, we got Augustinia. One of the very last water dinosaurs to be added to Dinosaur King. In fact, I think it was the last water dinosaur. And it's quite the beast. Well, massive is a massive game for Morsela. Morsela more than um, Stranger Kid, because Morsela only has three points, and if she loses this match, it's game over. Backing up the uh, Augustinia, we got Ulura Titan, one of the last grass dinosaurs to be added. Oh, this is going to be really tight. I'll say that, watch one of them get a bonus point win now. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be really, in really intriguing to see wh whoever wins this match gives themselves a brilliant opportunity. A great chance to get out of this group. Whoever loses is pretty much out, and random number generators decide to be an arse again. Okay, there we go. And we're starting with a tie. Quite fitting, to be honest. Another tie. Oh, don't be a tie fest. Ooh, as a crit, as a two platoon crush. A strong start from Stranger Kid. Not the start Mo's at once. Push. Smash. Blip. Oh, that's not good. That's not good for Mo's at But a strong start from Stranger Kid. Oh, it's a tie. The blunder effect there from the Augustinia. Yeah? Okay, there's a hit. Augustinia gets a hit on the board, gets to swap out into Ulua Titan. Ooh, get another hit. Well, we know what this Ulua Titan can do. We saw it in, Ma in Mouse's solitary win in this tournament, how powerful it can be. to take out this power. Well, it's not like the swap out since it failed the swap. Oop, that's a tie, and I think that might do it. And it does do it, so the Parasaurolophus goes down. So Mouse, after a slow start, taking the lead. Well, they had the lead, but Amplosaurus coming in with a crit. The longer Ulura Titan stays in, the more the Augustinia heals up. And that's a crit! And, well, Ulura Titan's not below half, so no swapping yet. And that will be a big crit for a mouse. Ooh, I, I wouldn't want to step on the Amplosaurus, so it's got a spiky back. <laughs> Ooh. That's going to hurt the foot there, but... Ooh, hello, we got a shockwave. Has Mouse turned the screw in this match? Okay, so he's going paper. Oh, shit. This could be damaging from the, from the Stranger Kid, but for Mouse, this could be massive on the brink of a bonus point win, which gets them right back in this group stage. Ooh, it's a tie. He's got the green impulse. Ooh, ooh, Ampelosaurus getting a hit. Stranger Kid not done. <coughs> Just a bit cough. Ooh, can they deny Mouse a bonus point? I think they can. And all of a sudden, 
I will say though, Mouse is guaranteed at least a losing bonus point, which just about keeps them in it. For the skin of their teeth. But they can't afford to lose, they need to win. Well, both of these two need to win, but only one will. So it'll come down to this. Oh, has it gone wrong for Mouse? Oh, has it gone wrong? I think it's gonna go wrong. This Aqua Whip is gonna be lethal, is it? Oh, it's lethal! Catastrophe for Mouse, but relief for Stranger Kid. Coming back into it with the Amplosaurus to get the win. Well, Mouse will get a losing bonus point, which will just about, by the skin of their teeth, keep them in this group stage. But they're going to have to get a bonus point win in the final round to have any chance of getting out this group. And in fact, I'll have, I'll have a look at the table. They might already be out, but... Oh, that was crucial. I think it's happened to others in this tournament. You just get that one more hit to get the win and you don't get it and you lose. And you just feel like that was it. I feel like that's going to be game over. Right, let's have a look at how Group C stands. Well, that is how Group C looks going into the final round. The Champions team already threw on 10 points here despite losing to Carnotaurus Man. MHAP10 getting a losing bonus point there. Two points clear of Stranger Kid in fifth. And we have Carnotaurus Man above Loz and Jay by virtue of the fact that they beat Loz and Jay. And then Loz and Jay clinging on to fourth. Stranger Kid getting that massive win over Mouse to take fifth. And then Morsel at the bottom on four points. But they did get the losing bonus point, which just about keeps them in it. Right, let's look at round five. And, well, here's where things get interesting. So round five will be Loz and Jay going up against the champions team. Well... If Loz and Jay gets anything out of this, actually no, even if Loz and Jay wins, Mouse will, Mouse will still be in it because they play Carnotaurus Man in the final round. And if Mouse gets a bonus point win over Carnotaurus Man, they will go above them in the table by virtue of the fact that they beat them. Although that's this is that will be where things get really complicated if Loz and Jay gets defeated. Okay, we'll say by virtue of the fact Loz and Jay gets a, pot, a boat, uh, gets a win. We'll say Loz and Jay beats Champions Team. Morslet gets the bonus point win against Carnotaurus Man, which puts them above Carnotaurus Man and knocks Carnotaurus Man into fifth. But then they gotta hope that Stranger Kid doesn't win against MEJP10. So it's so it's it's still all to play for. Emmy even MEJP10 still has work to do. You know, it could they could still be eliminated. It's crazy, this really tight. Still all to play for. One thing for certain is that we will see the champions team in the last 32 round. But as for these guys, still got work to do. Right, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, thanks for watching, and until next time, ta-ta!